we had a radio call here of an ADW suspect there now. Multiple radio calls came in. The call was upgraded to possible shots fired. When officers responded and went inside, they went upstairs in search of the suspect. Um, officers encountered the suspect, and during that encounter, an officer-involved shooting occurred. During that incident, the suspect was struck and uh, passed from, from the gunfire. Um, a subsequent search of the upper floor, um, we found a hole in the wall. Um, and behind a dr the drywall, a solid wall that you can't see behind, we went behind it. It turned out to be the dressing room um, up there. And what we did is we were able to locate a 14-year-old female who was found deceased in that dressing room. Uh, now, that's what we know now. The these are tragic and unfortunate sequence of events. Um, our force investigation division is here doing a complete and thorough investigation. Our inspector general's office is here as well. Um, we have not reviewed the video, the CCTV, the body-worn video, but until we do that, we don't have any further information. Do you have any questions for me? So, so can you describe the confrontation with the suspect? Was he a... Preliminarily, we believe that round was an officer's round. They and killed what, the suspect. The suspect and the 14-year-old. The suspect had what kind of weapon and what was he doing that prompted the gunfire? So we don't know exactly yet until we review all the video and interview the officers. We did locate a steel or metal cable lock, a very heavy, heavy lock um, near the suspect, which we preliminary believe was involved. We don't know how it was involved yet. And so was the dressing room directly behind? Was it in the line of fire? Is that how this happened? The Yes, the dressing room was behind where the suspect was in front of the officer. In my preliminary um, walk of the area you can't see into the dressing rooms and it's just it just looks like a, a straight wall of drywall. Did and the suspect more about have a gun? Preliminary we no we did not find a gun um, however till the coroner gets here and we do a full search of the suspect that won't be definitive but right now we haven't located a firearm. And the 14 year old were they with family was a parent here with them or were they here shopping alone? That I don't know yet. And the 14 year old was not with the original couple that may have been the target of the assault with a deadly weapon? It's it's unknown at this time. Uh, we don't believe she was related to the person who was originally assaulted. Do we and think she was hiding to try to get away? I, I, I really don't know. Uh, again, until we interview the officers and we look at the, the, the uh, cameras uh, and the body one, we won't know. And Do both the officers did have body cams? Uh, body cam is it, it was turned on and it's available. So. Do we know a motive in this? What, what prompted this man to go into Burlington and assault people? We, we don't. Was Not he someone time. known to you, someone who had problems? At, at this time, no. Is there any relationship between the man and the woman? That is still yet to be determined. So you don't know if he knew the woman he assaulted? Yeah, yeah. We don't know if there was any type of connection or relationship between the woman that was assaulted, who was transported to the hospital, or and the suspect. And how is she? I uh, don't have an update on her yet, but she's still at the hospital. I don't know. I don't know yet. Not that, not yeah, I know. Adult, I know. Not a teen. The, I'm sorry, the suspect, the suspect. Is, is a male adult. Yes. Okay, the suspect was killed. Yes. Okay, shot by police. Yes. And there was another person who was shot and killed. Are, are, are we clear on how that... What if that person was shot by police or if they were shot by someone else? At this time, we believe that it was the round, a round coming from an officer.